Christmas. It is Christmas Eve, which means if you're watching this and I've got it uploaded in time, it is Christmas Day. Ted and I are gonna go for a Christmas Eve hack and we're gonna take you with us. So, um, yeah, join us for the ride. Good boy. Got some reindeer ears on his bridal today. He's not the biggest fan of tinsel, so he did have some photos with it on his neck, but I don't think it's fair to make him ride with it for an hour, is it? But he is a reindeer. Right, let's get ready, shall we, Teddy? Merry Christmas, everybody. We finally made it through 2020, almost. Um, I hope you're all enjoying Christmas Day, or if you're watching this at another time of year, enjoying that as well. Um, I thought for this hack, we would do another chit chat and hack out with me. So you're gonna meet a few new friends from our new yard. And I'm also gonna answer questions that you've asked me on my Instagram. So hopefully it will be a nice ride for you to come with. Come on then. I know. <laughs> I did. I did take some pictures of tinsel on him, but he's not the biggest fan of it. So I was like, it's not really fair. I first got it out, and he was like, oh my god, and I was like, oh, it's okay. And then he calmed down and was like, okay. But I was like, God, if anything happens while we're riding and it like gets loose. Good boy. Right, where do you want to go? Should we go right? Yes. That lovely little horse you can see next to Ted is Sandy and her lovely owner, Sophia. Sophia has owned Sandy since she was a seven-year-old, which has been about 11 years ago now. So they've been together for a really long time and they've been at the yard a really long time and they are just showing us around. I also hope you love Ted's uh, little ears because I am truly loving them. I'm happy to have a truck down here. Oh yeah, let's do it. Come on, Daddy. Okay, let's dive into these questions from Instagram. So lots of questions around how old is Ted, how tall is Ted, um, and obviously we haven't done a sort of reintroductory post in a while, so I'll do a few facts for you now. So Ted is 14, he is an Irish sport horse, and he's 16 one hands high. I'm 27, and I first started riding Ted, I first met him in January of this year, so January 2020, when I started sharing him, and then all the way up to October of this year I shared him, and then in October his owners offered me him on full loan, subject to a three month trial, so we'll have that three month trial chat and sort of chat through the contracts again in January, um, but that is Ted. So what is one thing you wouldn't change about Ted? Um, I think his, he's so bold over jumps, like he's so enthusiastic about life, which is, you know, funny and also sometimes a bit annoying, but his jumping, I can't really fault. Um, he's a little bit quick at times and sometimes he's so enthusiastic that he will keep going even if he can't see a stride, but I really can't fault how bold he is. And when you do get it right, you get a really nice feel with him when you're jumping. So for all of his, you know, difficult piglet moments, his jumping is something that I really appreciate. How is he hacking out in a new environment? Any overexcitement? So actually, he's been really, really good, especially if I'm on my own. He's just been really nice. A little bit spooky here and there, a little bit lucky, as you'd expect if it's a brand new environment. But on the whole, he's been really, really good. And I've been really, really pleased with his behavior. So even in company, I think the real test will be when we take him out to some more open areas in um, the summertime when the ground isn't as muddy and it will be interesting to see what he's like then. I think that's when, if that overexcitement and that sort of rearing and bunny hopping is gonna show its head, it's gonna be then. So I just couldn't go past this question without showing you this little clip from the hack. So there I am chatting away to Sophia on her, you know, older lady horse, talking about how naughty Ted used to be on hacks and then suddenly she throws a buck and we're both just like, what is going on? So I'll let you watch. Very, but he, the only scary thing about him is that when he gets like that, ooh. you alright mate? I might have got that on camera. <laughs> Whoa, Teddy. The only scary thing about him is that... <laughs> oh, we're still talking about how good you are and how naughty he is. Well sat, well sat. What is one piece of advice you live by? 
oh goodness, I don't really know. Um, treat others as you wish to be treated, um, have patience, and everything happens for a reason. I think everything happens for a reason is something my mum always drummed into me, and I guess it's true. It sort of allows you to see the best in a situation that might not be great for you, but it also means if something's going really well that you can look back and say, yes, this path led me here, and I think it's really nice. It really helps to bring some positivity to any situation, which I think is great, even if it's not, you know, true. Um, what do you do when he bolts and he won't stop? Uh, I don't really have this problem with Ted. He's not particularly strong, so strong that he won't stop. But if I was on a horse, depending on how strong they are, I would try and do a circle um, or I would try and use each rein independently. Um, but if they're really, really bolting, I mean, there's not really a lot you can do apart from try not to fall off or try not to get hurt. But yeah, 20 meter circles are good for slowing down. And so are bridging your reins, um, using each rein independently. That time all helps. Um, other times you can be at the yard staggered because of COVID. So they aren't staggered in the sense that we don't have a rotor, but we do have a list of extra rules to make sure that we are being careful around the horses, careful around the staff. Obviously we're hacking out with each other now, but you're never so close to each other that you're like, you know, right in front of each other's faces. So we do have rules and we are using, you know, hand sanitizer everywhere, giving all of our staff um, extra space, not using the yard tools, things like that. What is Teddy's favourite treat? He loves a carrot. He's a simple boy, loves a carrot. Apples, like, I feel like if you offered him a carrot and an apple at the same time, he would always take the carrot. So he's a carrot boy, through and through. Um, now that you're on full of read, do you still go down every day? Yes. Um, I might occasionally, if he's having a full day off where he's out in the field all day and I don't ride, I may not go down that day. But usually I go down every single day and ride, groom, cuddle. And even if I'm not riding that day, I'll give him a full groom. I really like that um, that time with him and making sure that he's feel comfortable and that I get time to cuddle. That's kind of the point of full livery is that you get time back to spend with your horse. And particularly as I'm working from home at the moment, um, I do like to, you know, go down as much as possible. Hiya. Hi. Sorry. Don't Let turn it on for a minute. <laughs> Ooh, good lad. Easy. Good boy. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Sorry. Such a troll. Honestly, Ted. <laughs> Poor Sandy. She's an old lady. Gotta take care of her. Any more competitions planned? Not in the diary, but um, I'll talk a little bit more about this, I hope, next week. But we do have a goal for 2021, and that will mean a lot more sort of um, things in the diary and training opportunities and competitions. So hopefully a really exciting year for you guys to watch, I hope. I always want to make it as exciting as possible, so stay tuned. And I think from this new yard as well, a lot more opportunities um, to go out and about, which is really, really exciting. So here we are back at the yard for the person asking earlier that was about a 45 minute ride sandy's a little bit older so we don't do too much with her so a nice chilled ride and i actually left my gopro on this time to show you a little bit more about the post ride process if you enjoy this obviously let me know in the comments and i'll do more of these so obviously i untack ted and i usually leave everything uh, i do myself afterwards so i do him all first and because it's the afternoon we do just want them to go out for an extra hour so i'm going to try and get him untacked and out in the field as quickly as possible because it was a slow hack he hasn't got too warm or anything so i don't have to worry about him being sweaty under his outdoor rug so i'm going to untack him and then take him out to the field so here we are just heading out to the field it was so sweet one of ted's new friends actually whinnied as we arrived which i thought was very sweet he's obviously making friends Merry Christmas and um, I don't know if this is going to work but there we go Merry Christmas I hope you have a lovely day even if you're not with your families this year and here's to a better 2021 see you next time bye